Hi, welcome to another photo link video. This one is uh, part three on QTPFS GUI. Um, this one's on HDR um, file creation and also tone mapping. Um, basically, uh, you can call an image in a previously created um, HDR, uh, which we just created one called test, I mean video tutorial dot uh, EXR which will call in our um, previously created HDR, which it's doing it now. And once this uh, video is called in, then you can go ahead and tone map it and save the variations in the tone map. And again, what we do is we call in that uh, previously created uh, HDR and what we can do is now we can go through the, uh, we can um, go to the image and resize the HDR, which we'll do it around uh, 700 for saving time. And we'll scale it. Okay. Um, or basically, what you can call it in from a set of images. And calling it in from a set of images, what you can do is you can um, either... Um, let's see here. We want to close that. You can either uh, take a raw file and um, you can basically uh, save that raw file out as three um, uh, TIFs. Uh, you can, and they should be 16-bit. You can save it as one as minus uh, two EVs, one as plus two EVs, and one is a normal exposure, which is what I've done here. Or <coughs> you can reduce the size, or you can reduce the exposure and increase the exposure and save out three JPEGs or TIFs, or even go with just a normal um, a file or a normal set of files. Um, they do not have to actually be, um, you know, they don't have to follow any strict rules. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call in those three files again. Here's our normal, here's our over, and here's our underexposed. I'm going to open them. The thing that is important is um, to get through and get your exposure offset set. Okay, so here we have, this is a negative 10. This is our under. So we're going to make it a minus 2 because it was built as minus 2 EVs. Uh, under. Uh, here's our normal, which is our spot-on exposure. We're going to put it as zero. And here's our overexposure, where we're going to put it as two. <coughs> so then I can go next. Now again, to create this um, uh, HDR, you don't want to really vary any of these. You just click Finish. But I'm going to abandon that, and I'm going to open an HDR which was saved previously, and this is going to call this in. It's doing it now, it just takes a minute. Now again, remember, HDR stands for High Dynamic Range, and you really do not have the ability uh, to view it on the screen um, as it should be. Now we're going to resize this HDR for speed. So we're going to put 700 in here. Seven hundred. And we're going to say scale it. Now, what you can do again is remember these do not apply to, these do not really change uh, the uh, uh, HDR. They're only there for the purposes of viewing the HDR on the screen. So now if I go here and if I click Tone Map, remember these are your TMOs, which are your um, uh, tone mapping operators. There's no real documentation on these. <coughs> and for each operator, <coughs> your keys will change or not your keys, but uh, your tools for that operator. 
So Fat Towel has um, noise reduction, color saturation, alpha and beta. Um, each one of these has a different set of uh, toolbars. So once you uh, or, or you know sl uh, toolbars and slide or tools and sliders. So once you have set these, uh, then what you do is even beforehand. This applies to all tools. Um, you set a size for your output, and then what you can do is then you can apply. the various settings and generate your um, um, uh, LDR from the HDR. So now once we've done this, we can come in, adjust our levels, And there is our tone mapped um, um, LDR. What we can do next is after we dismiss this screen, we can say OK. And what we can do is now we can save it uh, as, and we can say final results or whatever we want to call it as. Well, that concludes this um, video tutorial series on uh, uh, QTP. Uh, FSGUI, and I hope you got something out of it, um, and I appreciate it. Please visit the site, www.photolink, that's F-O-T-O-L-I-N-Q dot com, for more videos and a lot on digital photography. And I thank you for watching.